Welcome back. Welcome back. It is Eric Arnold in the Sports Barn. Special edition of Eric Arnold's Sports Barn here on that holiest of holy days, the first Saturday in May. It is the 2021 running of the Kentucky Derby. What, what number are we up to now? I, I forget. Somewhere to tell you how old I am, I got a shirt that says uh, Derby 123. And that wasn't even the first Derby I went to. I think we're up to like 140 some or something. Um, let's see, does my computer tell me? Eh, not right off the top. Of my doesn't appear to tell me right off the top here. So I have been to 10 different derbies, if you can believe that. Um, and I've still never seen a horse, as the joke goes. Now uh, we always sit in the infield. And here I come to find out this year as I'm preparing for this show, you can't sit anymore. They don't let you bring chairs. They don't let you bring coolers. I don't know. Maybe that's a COVID thing. Maybe that will change. I've always wanted to go back. I just, you know... I remember in the 10th Derby, we just kind of, my buddy and I looked around at each other and said, I think we're too old for this. And that was 15 years ago. But now I'm kind of like, oh, I want to go back. I want to go back. It's time. It's time. You know, I can afford the ridiculous drinks, drink prices now. You know, we don't have to go through all the machinations of trying to smuggle our pure grain into the derby so we can drink affordably or drink at all you know we just didn't have that much money to pay the whatever the hell they were charging for their drinks but uh ah, youth but at any rate this is a big race always the best uh of the triple crown races in my opinion uh let's get to it because um i've never had much luck with the Derby. You know, I watch it every year and it took me, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 Derbies until I finally picked the winner. <laughs> it was always a loser. Never had much luck with it. But now I've kind of hit on a formula, I think. And as I mentioned in a previous video for, you know, Pittsburgh Louie already knows what I'm going to say because he watches every video. Um, I think the formula I've hit on is pretty successful. I've gotten two out of the last three Derby winners. Uh, we had Justify with, you know, the rest of the world. Uh, and then uh, uh, Authentic. Yeah, that was three years ago. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we uh, no one had Country House two years ago. That was the big controversy where maximum security was much the best. But... Uh, fouled 10 horses, I exaggerate, probably three horses, and got knocked down, which never, ever happens. Uh, but that did happen. Uh, so the formula is we were looking for the most experience. This is an old man's game, the Kentucky Derby, which is probably why I could never win it when I was a child or a teenager or a youngster or a person in my 20s. Uh, it's an old man's game, so you got to know where the old men are. You got to know who's got the experience. You're looking for experienced jockeys, experienced trainers. This is what we want. So we go through the, it's not rocket science, you just go through the, uh, uh, the stats there. The media guide, the previous history, and it's pretty obvious who's got the most experience in this field. And that is who we are taking. If you look at the list of horses here, right in the middle of the track, there's three, four horses. That's where you want to be. Uh, anywhere from eight down to 11. That's four horses. Uh, you got Medina Spirit, Hot Rod Charlie, Midnight Bourbon, and Dynamic One, if you're really looking to be uh, exotic. But the winner, the one we're taking, the one we're backing, Medina Spirit. We're taking, of course, the Baffert horse. Baffert has, what, six derby wins? Um, do you think that's by accident? You know, it, it, guy wins the derby six times. Maybe you ought to be looking at who he's training. So that's where we're at. Uh, we're with Medina Spirit. You're getting a great price on this horse. 
Uh, the morning line at the moment has him listed at 15 to 1. 15 to 1. It, 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 he was beaten in the Santa Anita Derby by Rock Your World, who's, I think, on the outer post there at, like, uh, what is Rock Your World at? You got Rock Your World at 9 to 2, and he is horse number 15. So it's not, you know, 15, he could win from that post position. That's out there a little bit. But, um, oh, Medina Spirit was an odds-on favorite in the Santa Anita Derby. And, he, well, it just didn't happen. You know, you get beat. It happens. You get beat. Uh, but what I find, you know, significant is Medina Spirit's still here. You know, sometimes horses get beat like that as a big favorite, and they just... Well, that's it. We're putting him out the stud. He had a hangnail, and we don't want to uh, risk further injury. So uh, retiring at the uh, uh, old age of three. But no, Medea Spirit's coming right back. Uh, that tells me Baffert figures. Hey, yeah, that was just an off day. I got the answer here. I know what we're doing. We're coming right back here, and we're going to hammer rock your world. It's a long, long straightaway there in Kentucky. Uh, the home stretch lasts forever if you don't have the experience to know where it is and how long it is. And uh, we're going to say that uh, Velasquez, of course, another very experienced jockey and Baffert, they're going to handle that right. The other thing I liked about uh, Medina Spirit, he had an earlier race with uh, his neighbor, Hot Rod Charlie. I think that was the Robert B. Lewis uh, stakes race, and then he hooked up in a duel down the stretch, an eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball duel with Hot Rod Charlie coming up from behind. You know, normally 98, 99% of the time when the horse is in the lead down the stretch, and here comes the challenger ripping up from behind him. Well, it's just like on the highway. It just goes right on by, right on by, but not this time. Medina Spirit just stayed right there with him and just would not let him have it. That tells me Medina Spirit's a tough son of a bitch. And I think that's going to show up pretty well this afternoon. We like Medina Spirit at a big price. That's your winner, Medina Spirit. If you're looking for, if 12 or 10 to 1 isn't enough for you, if you need more, if you got to have more action, if you're looking to exactas or boxes or uh, wheels or whatever the hell else you'd like to do, uh, Hot Rod Charlie, Midnight Bourbon, Dynamic One. Those are also horses that we think are active here. So there you have it. I'm going to get drunk this afternoon. Maybe. I don't know. You know, I, I, I'm half tempted to hop in my car right now and drive to a buddy's house that I know he's going to be watching the race. Unfortunately, he lives five, five hours away. So I'd have to leave, like, immediately. Uh, it's probably just not practical. I'll probably what I'll do is just go take a nap. Uh, but um, next year. Next year, you know, this, this kind of, honestly kind of snuck up on me. It just really kind of snuck up on me in that, you know, it's the first Saturday in May, and it's, you know, the 1st of May, it just, you usually get into May a couple days, and then, hey, it's derby time. Now it just, you know, it just turned May a couple hours ago, and all of a sudden, it's derby time, 1st of May. So, uh, a little, little sneaky this year, but we're going to have a good day today. Uh, probably going to have a baseball video for you here in an hour or two. Why not? You know, I did the research. I got the names. I just got to compile the video so uh and then stand out here and do it uh so good all right good we'll see you later medina spirit there you have it